Hello, everyone, and welcome to our AFD interview of the week. Today, we're meeting with the fabulous Jennifer Chu. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's great to hear. Uh, how has your day been so far? It's been pretty relaxing, yes, an off day, so nice. just relaxing, chilling, <laughs> trying to recover. <laughs> That's, great. That's great to hear. So today, you know the drill. We're going to ask you a few questions and we're going to see where this takes us. I am really excited to get to know more about you because I've heard so much from Jay and Sarah and I think the rest of the people that are interested in AFD would love to get to know you too. All righty. Well, <laughs> hopefully it's interesting. <laughs> um, so I guess my first question is, uh, what does what does, this is really broad, but what does mm -hmm. this mean to you, or what is the main reason that you dance? Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like my, like, view of dance has evolved throughout mm -hmm. the years, I and mean, when you first start off, you don't really think much of it, but I think now, for me, dance is just a way to evaluate and explore ideas, things, thoughts, values, whatever it is um, from my life, not only as a dancer, but just as like a person in general. And I feel like dance has just become an extension of who I am. I don't think I could separate myself from it or get rid of it as much as I tried. Um, yeah. Sometimes, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't help but, you know, it just kind of pops up in my life even when you don't think it's there. So I think it's just kind of a new, a different framework for me to explore myself. Awesome. Express myself. <laughs> and critique myself. <laughs> I, I feel like every every artist feels that way that you know whatever they're passionate about whatever they go for they end up being their worst critic too <laughs> yes yes it's bad sometimes but it is good sometimes so yeah um so ten it's kind of tangent to that but um mm -hmm. what are one of your fondest memories from your education with AFD hmm okay there's a few there's a couple Okay, I'd like to hear all of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, all the time in the world. Um, well, the one of the very first times, I think it might have been the second time I ever went to Acting for Dancers. Yeah. Um, I had a solo coaching with Jay and Sarah, mm -hmm. and they really helped me um, figure out and learn more about myself and how to access my emotions in my dancing in a more genuine and authentic way yeah. i mean it is acting for dancers yeah. uh so that was that was kind of new for me and it was really eye-opening and i didn't feel like i had to like emote just because someone told me oh you're supposed to be sad or like think about like losing your dog or something like something really superficial like that I felt like I didn't have to think about those things I didn't necessarily have to force myself into like emoting or feeling or expressing a certain thing it just felt yeah. more real Natural. it was nice yeah and then also um this might have been the same session or maybe a few years later I can't remember but um we had to write poems and then we ended up translating those poems into a dance movement sequence Ooh. and so that was also really cool yeah and i wrote about my love for chocolate yeah <laughs> so that was really nice because i was basically dancing to profess my love for chocolate I um, hope yeah, it was just really cool yeah i <laughs> know right it's very valid um but that was just really cool to see how words on a page that you came up with then get transformed into a dance sequence and it's so interesting to see that connection, how those um, associations form, like how to come up with dance movements just from a word, from your love for chocolate. Um, and then also, okay, this is related to this one. Okay. Another girl wrote about her love for mushrooms. Okay. This is really random, but she kept on using the word scrumptious to describe the mushrooms. And like, at this point, I hated mushrooms, but for some reason, I don't, I can't even explain why but the word scrumptious just seemed like such an appropriate and right word to describe mushrooms and that convinced me to try mushrooms again and then ever since i've honestly just loved mushrooms so <laughs> well, that's just yeah you, you guys heard it here first jennifer loves mushrooms yes i do <laughs> no i do too chocolate and mushrooms you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> scrumptious is actually a very great word yes yeah i don't know why it's like when you associate like certain 
emotions or like feelings and memories with a color or something or like a scent it was just that word just fit mushroom so well and so i thank her for that because that's awesome yeah um that's no that's great to hear uh i think i think i actually saw a video of you like dancing i don't know if it was from your solo session with jay and sarah but like oh, yep really old video of you that i saw um and you did this solo i'm assuming that's the session is that that's right? probably it yes yeah. actually yeah i yeah i remember that being filmed yeah yeah it's somewhere out there <laughs> 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 no, uh, it's it's fabulous. You are very talented from what I saw. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so along with this talent comes big accomplishments, obviously. So um, what would you say is one of your biggest accomplishments outside of the AFD program? Well, I'm currently um, working on Descendants 3. That Ooh. is really exciting. Yes, yeah. it's very, very exciting. I get to work with some really amazing people. And of course, like it's Kenny Ortega, the director of High School Musical. So like, yeah. Hell yeah. that was my childhood. So yeah. that's that very, not, very That exciting. was everyone's, well, no, not everyone's childhood. <laughs> Most of our childhoods. And then it created these expectations of high school and then everyone realized that that wasn't high school. But anyways, no, yeah, it's super great. And um, I get to work with some really great dancers as well, some new and old friends. And so it's just really great to have all that energy and, so, um, yeah, be in that environment. That's great. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how did you come up with this opportunity? Um, <clears throat> well, there was just, I think my agent sent me out on the audition to just like send it out to all the dancers. And I think they also had an open call. Um, but yeah, I just auditioned and then waited and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> working now <laughs> awesome um so obviously it's a huge accomplishment that you're in descendants three which is super cool mm -hmm. um so what would you say are some of the goals that you'd like to accomplish over the rest of this year like we're already halfway through the year so what would you like to accomplish over the rest of this year I think I really want to focus on listening to myself more and listening to and trying to find um, like my own voice and what I have to say or what I have to offer as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, and also try and uh, branch out into different art forms beyond dance as well and try and dabble cool. with those. And cool, that. like what? I feel like, well, because I used to take painting classes, actually, like drawing and painting and stuff. And I actually really love that. And so like visual art stuff like that. Um, and like, it was so disappointing to have to like give that up. But like, I still want to try and keep that up. Yeah. And also like, I feel like things like even just like learning how to sculpture, that would be so cool too. I have literally never done that in my entire life. Yeah, I feel like that would be so cool because I see all these videos of like how they like the, the whole transformation process. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. that's so cool. Um, and music also, or photography, yeah, all that's, those different that's kinds. That's my jam. Music and photography is my jam. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like all these different art forms, like, they all contribute to one another. So I think it'd be cool to invest time in that. I, well, I don't know about you, but I feel like when, whenever I'm, I'm learning something in a different art form that I feel like I learn about another part of myself at the same time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, almost like learning new languages and you feel like you're different people in each different language. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. Um, no, yeah, sculpturing would be really cool. What would be the first sculpture? That would make? Sculpting? Sculpturing? Sculpting? I don't sculpting. know the verb, but yeah, whatever the verb is, that. Yeah. <laughs> What would be the first thing that you sculpture? Like a pot? Oh. Yeah, I guess something simple. Yeah, very simple. It would need to be simple, I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess anything. like, or even like, yeah, <laughs> or like a cup even, I feel like, because yeah. then it's functional, because then I yeah. can use it. Totally. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> My friend and I have always wanted to sculpt, I don't know why this is so random, but like we've always wanted to sculpt like twin snails and then we were gonna name them Birdtrude and Gertrude. Sorry, this is really off topic, but yeah. I, that, no. I don't, that, a cup or snails. You know what? I would love to learn more about the snail thing a different I, I'll get back to you on that. Please do. <laughs> okay, um, so 
I guess we kind of touched on this with the first question, but let's let's maybe delve into it a little bit more. So what would you say sparked your interest the most or fueled your your passion to get to where you are in terms of dance today? Very good question. Um, <laughs> I think one of the biggest, one of the many big parts that I love about dance um, is that it really requires you to exercise your imagination mm -hmm. and develop your creativity which I really appreciate and I think is really important, especially because it's one of those things that, and there's like, I'm sure there's lots of studies obviously out there that like yeah. talk about how imagination as you get older and as you mature, as you go into the real world, um, yeah. like your imagination starts to dwindle a little bit. And so yeah. I think it's really important to like nurture that and make sure it's mm. still there and working. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like, I feel like that imagination and that, that side of things really just, I, I feel like it keeps us young at heart. You know what I mean? <laughs> For and sure. It, I feel like it's like the secret to living a long life. We just don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it's so like, oh yeah, I guess this connects to it too. Like, I feel like the more that I learn, the more I realize like that there is to learn and then the more I want to learn. Cause like yeah. dance and like art, it's so limitless and boundless, which has to do with the imagination, creativity. Like there are so many aspects that you can never stop exploring. So even when you think you're done with whatever it is, you're probably not because yeah. there's so much more out there. And um, yeah, so yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um, no, that's super, super awesome to hear that you're constantly wanting to grow and get better. And um, that I feel like that's a huge and important part or an important trait that a lot of dancers and artists need to just mm -hmm. keep keep ahead of the curve kind of right sure yeah and like you'd be surprised how many things that you wouldn't expect to be related to dance or art in general do relate like the past couple of years i was taking psychology in school and yeah. i was so surprised to find like so many connections between what i was learning in psychology some of the concepts and ideas and how i could apply those and use them to inform my art as well and so that was really interesting awesome um so so i guess i guess as we talk about you know growing up and getting older and um you know growing as people what would you say are some of the or if at all if did you face hardships or have to or what was an obstacle that you had to overcome in order to get to where you are today in your art there are Definitely 100% big <laughs> hardships and obstacles, but I think the biggest one, and I'm still working on it, like it's still present now even, was time management, was, is time management. Um, because whatever it is that I do, I try, I like to try and um, see how far I can go with it and to make sure that I do the best that I can, whatever it is that I'm doing. And so trying to commit, your, commit yourself fully to everything that you're doing, but then realizing that time is limited at the same time, someone's like, oh, why? Um, <laughs> so yeah, definitely just trying to learn how to manage my time, prioritize and be more efficient. That's also a really big thing. Um, yeah. Being efficient, maximizing time, because yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't control the time, so. Yeah, and you know, the older you get, the more you have to juggle so many different things in life too, like, yeah. you know, bills, school, <laughs> all those yes. things. And sure, definitely, it definitely becomes a huge and important skill to have as a person. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. I agree. Um, okay. So in, in relation to this, uh, yes. who would you say has been one of the most extremely influential people in your life and why? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there... Okay, no, no. Oh, hold on. We won't, we won't, we won't narrow it down to like one person. How about we give you like top three? Oh my god. Dear. Okay. Well, first of all, I feel like there have been so many and like too many like extremely influential people in my life because I feel like there's something to learn from every single person that I encounter. Um, Oh man, it's so hard. There have been like different people for different reasons, of course, and like for different stages of my life and my dance 
career journey. Um, yeah. And yeah, for different stages, parts of it, oh, and different aspects. So I guess, oh, I mean, it's so tough because- You can always say that it took an army to get to where you needed to. Yeah, it's true. It takes a village to raise a child. So it that is very valid. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave it with that. I think, honestly, I, like there have been so many people and like every single person, there's something to learn from. So to everyone out there. <laughs> okay. So, okay, maybe maybe this will be a little bit of an easier easier ask then. Okay. So, influential is one thing, but yeah. I guess, is there like one person that inspired you to dance? Because hmm. oh, awesome. inspiration is a little bit different than influence, I'd say, right? That's true. Hmm. Is there anyone that you look up to in the dance world that you would say has inspired you to go further? I feel like for me, these people, or a lot of these people anyways, are both influential and inspirational, but th again, there's like so many people, but I mean. Like first word, the first name that comes to mind. Okay, well, I guess for me, like one of, uh, like something that propelled me into like a new like realization, like a new, opened me up to a new part of my dancing, I guess, was when I first um, took a Gaga dance class. That okay. was like very like whoa what is this it was like new language new vocabulary and so um i've never yeah. actually heard this can you explain this a bit more oh man okay i don't know if i'm like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if, I can, <laughs> if i'm like licensed to like really like explain it that well but like basically it comes from um butcheva dance company and oha naharin that was his like movement language God, I feel so weird talking about this. I'm like an expert or something, I'm not. But like one of the very first teachers that I had for Gaga Dance was Tom Weinberger. And yeah. I feel like he used to be in the company and like he was, he just like so much information, so much knowledge and like, um, yeah. So I got a lot of my Gaga knowledge from him. And like, I feel like it's just like so interesting and so um, different from what I was used to before. And it really opened me up to a new, like world or dimension of my dancing, I guess. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my next question. So it kind of stems off the other question because there's mm -hmm. a flow and a movement to this. Mm -hmm. So I guess, you know, when we talked earlier about kind of hardships and obstacles that you faced, as well as um, like inspiration and stuff, what would you say inspires you when you feel demotivated? Or like... Mm -hmm. You, if you had to say, like, what would be your light at the end of the tunnel in terms of, like, if you're just down in the dumps, you've been working on something and you just can't break through? Mm -hmm. That definitely happens a lot. Um, but <laughs> I feel like I like to remind myself of something that um, a great teacher, Risa Steinberg, that's her last name, but I think that's her last name, <laughs> Risa, um, that she said, which is to be 100% of whatever percentage you are that time and that place, that moment, which I think is really nice because it kind of helps put my mind to ease and get rid of that stress or that negative pressure to feel like I always have to be fully charged at all given times. And like, I always have to be 100% of 100% because the reality is that we can't always be 100% of 100% and you won't always feel motivated like forever and so there of course like there are times where you're going to feel demotivated and so reminding yourself that as long as you are a hundred percent of whatever percentage you are even that's even if that's four yeah. percent at least you can walk away feeling like you gave whatever you could and then you can feel good about that yeah no that's that's actually such a great great quote and i feel like it's applicable to literally anyone in any art yes for sure yeah because there are certain times where I feel like I'm I'm demotivated and I just can't break through with like writer's block and things like that and I totally yeah you maybe changed my life <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> thank you Risa <laughs> no but yeah I feel like that just takes off some because we're so hard on ourselves um mm. always as people and yeah. so feeling like you don't have to be feel like oh I feel great today I feel so motivated to say I feel like that's important to not be so hard on yourself yeah because then you probably just block yourself more when you yeah no honestly I, I I think that that's very very true <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so, okay. We talked about the things that demotivate you. We talked about the kind of hardships that you face, but um, what are some qualities in yourself that you would attribute to uh, your success in dance? Hmm. I feel like, oh, I always feel like I'm bragging about myself when I answer these questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I guess my attention to detail, yeah. I like to be quite detailed um, yeah. in whatever it is that I'm working on, learning from, doing. Um, and also versatility, I think, is pretty important. It's been pretty important for me. So, yeah, those two. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I honestly, like, I, I know how it feels to talk about yourself. <laughs> you're like, does this sound too great? Yeah, it's like writing your own bio and you're like, oh, she's great. <laughs> she... <laughs> Okay, so last question, okay? okay? I'm sorry, our time has come to an end, but it's our last question. What am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, finally, to all of the people that are watching this, all of the young dancers, the people that are interested in acting for dancers um, in general, what advice would you give to them? Or if you could, what advice would you give to your younger self um, in terms of what you've learned hmm. well i would definitely still give this advice to my current self as well and <laughs> self out there way out there um but i think uh for me and to anyone out there um to trust yourself that is for me i think that's really important and to trust yourself to trust yourself and yeah. like whatever the implications of trusting yourself will be yeah. Um, as daunting as that sometimes may seem and like the consequences that that has good consequences of course yeah. um, and also being genuine yeah. stay genuine be honest and never stop learning as we yeah. said before we talked about that never stop yeah. learning there's yeah. always something to learn so mm -hmm. yeah I'd say those things well that I feel like that's applicable to literally everyone and yes. um, yeah Hope so <laughs> You know what, trusting yourself is, that's such an important in mm -hmm. lesson that I feel like a lot of people, when they start with a passion or an art that they, you know, whatever it may be, when they start with it and as they go through it, there are so many insecurities and, you know, you're not entirely sure of yourself. And I feel like that's part of growing, but it, it's also growing in a creative art form, right? Mm -hmm, for sure. When you, when you trust yourself, it's, it's... Yeah, it's really, really life changing. Yeah. yeah, I feel like trusting yourself is like that little key that like leads into like all the other important like traits and like values and things that you should also be developing and exercising. Like if you trust yourself, then you'll probably trust yourself to go take more risks and to like step out of certain boundaries and limits. And so like through trusting yourself, you can go into all these other different Ter new territories yeah or, or sorry i hope <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for your time today jen thank you great meeting you and um yeah no i'm so happy that i was able to finally meet with you yes i know it worked out <laughs> it worked <laughs> out i made this interview because i feel like a lot of a lot of people that are in acting for dancers would love to get to know you too. Um, you can uh, follow Jennifer. We'll list her Instagram down below um, and follow her journey through dance. I hope that was helpful for people and that it was kind of informative. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.